Anita, what inspired you to tell the story of Dina in the Red Tent? Well, I, um, I had turned 40 and I wanted a new challenge in my life, so I thought I would try to write a novel. And uh, I didn't have a story that I've always wanted to tell, so I actually thought I would write a book about Rachel and Leah, the, the old the sisters, and their relationship with each other and competition. And, mm. But um, I kept reading it and thinking, I don't, now what? And so I kept reading in the in Genesis, and I came to the story of Dina, and what happens to her is a bit of a mystery because she never says anything. Mm -hmm. So whatever happened to her with the prince in the, in the town of Shechem is we don't know. It's her brothers who, who characterize it as, as the rape. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I'm not the first person to say this, that he's not acting the way a rape. He wants to marry her. He's willing to, to do almost anything to appease her family. And so I thought, what really happened there? And then the idea of telling the story from her perspective, the perspective of a character who's totally voiceless in the text, and, and give, her, um, give her perspective, her point of view, its due, its full due, which meant exploring the world of women and in great detail, in novelistic detail, uh, in a way that doesn't exist in, in scripture. So that's... That's where it came from. It wasn't like I woke up one morning and thought, oh, I, have to, I have to write a story about Dina. I was, I was looking for a meaningful, a good story to tell, yeah. uh, and I kind of found it right there in front of me.